वेलकम टू माय चैनल आईटी स्मार्ट ट्रेनिंग इफ माय वीडियो इज इंफॉर्मेटिव प्लीज लाइक माय वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट मोर अप टू डेट At first we learn what uh, we learn in this video. First one is Windows Server 2016 instance create. Second one is add additional EBS storage or volume attached uh, while instance create. Uh, third one is data storage volume from Windows Server 2016. Fourth one is create a storage volume from volume menu and change the storage type. Fifth one is extend volume size as per the requirement. Sixth one is uh, delete on the terminations options we will discuss on this today we are going to start uh, EVS volume hands-on lab on Windows Server 2016 uh, this is the episode number 23 so st let's start the lab so this is my AWS console I just go to the launch virtual machine so must remember so which region us belongs to so i am belongs to uh, asia pacific mumbai this is my az and uh, the name is ap south one this is my availability zone so now i just click on the free tag so that the free tag eligible uh, instances will uh, showing appear here so I just select uh, Windows Server 2016 over here now I am creating an instance at first so I am selecting Windows Server 2016 and the select EC2 uh, type by default is taken uh, T2 micro this is a free tag eligible next I go to the configure instance details I just leave these settings blank because no need to configure over right now now I just add storage so this add storage options these options will appear over here so here you can I just describe something options which is given over here so this is by default uh, EC2 instance is taking the general purpose SSD GP2 this is by default is taken uh, so in my previous video you can see if you uh, see that video so you know about the what is the GP2 volume if you cannot see that video uh, just go to my uh, 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 YouTube channel and uh, select the playlist AWS and there you can get the my last video uh, video number 20 episode number 21 where is uh, that describes all these things so one things there is not described that is uh, recently AWS launched a new volume type that is a GP3 this is the higher uh, uh, capabilities uh, respect of GP3 you can see GP2 here uh, the IOPS value is uh, given there I already told what is the IOPS in my previous video that is clearly described over here just see on that video so here the per 100 GB uh, minimum 100 IOPS can be taken whatever the volume type minimum 100 IOPS can be taken if you uh, if you uh, configure here uh, 1 GB or 2 GB that should be also taken the 100 IOPS uh, per GB it's take a uh, 3 IOPS minimum IOPS is 100 if I select 2 GB 3 GB 4 GB uh, it will take uh, 100 IOPS but if I select 300 over here here you can see the IOPS is taken 900 if I select 100 GB you can select you can see that 300 IOPS is taken if I select 50 GB 150 IOPS 40 GB 120 IOPS 30 GB is 100 IOPS 31 
he is also taken 100 a uh, 100 iops so here i just select 30 gb so i just one by one i just describe the options which is given here the volume types by default the volume type is taken root because this is my root volume so that's why uh, this volumes type is taken over here root uh, next device is showing here the dev and sda one so device means this is my hard disk which is located under dev folder uh, you know that's last in my last video that i told you that the amazon ec2 uh, is configured with the uh, a technology that is a nano technology uh, sorry nitro technology where uh, the AWS is using the Nitro hypervisor, which is a KVM based hypervisor. In KVM based means Linux based hypervisor. In Linux, the directories and the hard disks are showing uh, like this. If I add a, another hard disk, it will show SDB. If I create a partition in, inside the SDA, that will be showing you over here SDA2. And the root is the volume level. This is my where the operating system install snapshot here is given the snapshot id over is given there we will create a separate video for snapshot so i just keep here for the snapshot this is my volume size this is my volume type by default gp2 i already told here you can see gp3 which is the latest invention of aws next io1 io2 and magnetic standard i will I describe one by one if i select gp3 they just see i can uh, i i can uh, uh, select the iops value as well as the throughput but if i select gp2 that iops and the throughput will be uh, increase or decrease with the volume size next the delete on terminations Delete on terminations means when I run some instance after doing some work, I decided to terminate that that uh, instance or virtual machines. So what happened when I terminate that virtual machines? Uh, if this option is selected, when termination process is going on, the hard disk of that virtual machine or the instance automatically removed. If I uncheck that options after termination of the virtual machine, this uh, volume will remain same or this volume cannot be deleted we will add this volume or add this drive you can say uh, into the another virtual machine or the instance next option is encryption i will uh, create a separate video with encryptions so by default free tier is 30 gb is eligible in evs volume ssd general purpose ssd is 30 gb is available so now I create another volume over here see this is the EVS volume this is XVDV this is the path where the uh, the name of the virtual hard disk is taken inside the uh, virtual machine here is select 8 so I select 2 GB and here you can see Two more option is populated over here. Coal HDD and throughput HDD. Coal HDD and throughput HDD is not uh, applicable for the root volume because we cannot install operating system inside it. So that's why when we create a virtual machines, these volumes are all, all available. These two options are not available there because we cannot use as a root volume over there. So I create a magnetic standard volume, the size is 2 GB and I uncheck, remember I just uncheck the delete on termination volume means when we terminate that virtual machine this hard disk will not be removed. Now I just adding a tag, add tag, name. win-vm1 
configure security group create a new security group review and launch I just select existing key pair I just select this one acknowledge and launch if you don't understand this step please review my uh, channel I have already I make a video on this already you can see my video just click on view instance it will take some time I just go to the instances here you can see two VMs are showing because this was previously terminated the name was same that's why it's taken so I just rename it and name win hyphen 16 hyphen vm so it will be understandable for us so it will take status check it is not done yet so I just refresh so it is initializing so we have to wait some time uh, after initializing we can use that virtual machine just wait few seconds or few minutes to create that VM into the AWS yes you can see that the status is ok right now now I just click on this instance and just connect RDP client I just decrypt the password so I have to select my PIM file I just add if you don't understand this step please view my previous videos otherwise it will be uh, get some problem with you So you can see this is my password I just preserve it into my notepad okay so just download the RDB file as well I just open that RDB file connect it's connected I just paste my password yes and you can see our Windows Server 2016 VM is ready to our lab. It's logging in. Here's my profile is created. yes it's logged in so now I just go to my uh, my my computer or the this PC so that we can see that this is my volume this is my C volume where is uh, which is 30 GB we, we don't have any other volume over here but we already add a volume over there if you go to my dashboard if we select volumes you can see we add an additional volume 2 GB of additional volume and it is showing in use this is added into my uh, GP2 instance or GP2 enabled instance so we can see I just describe some options over here that is name this is my name of the hard disk by default it is taken from the VM instance name so previously I just changed the name it is not taken that time I just change the name like this this is my uh, GP2 instance which is uh, standard uh, root partition now I change this name to this is my additional this 
drive one. This is my second drive which we want to add. This is the volume ID. This is the volume ID. This is the size of the volume. This is the volume type. This is the GP2 volume. This is the standard volume. This is the IOPS rate. Throughput is not showing here. Snapshot is showing over here. Snapshot ID. The date of creation. This is my availability zone. You can see the both are the same availability zone. This is very important. We cannot add different availability zones volume into another another uh, data center. So you suppose I have a, a, a volume that is uh, under Mumbai and I want to uh, add I want to add this volume into the instance which is belongs to uh, UAE. So that is not possible. We cannot at attach this volume into different availability zone. It's work inside the availability zone. So in use means this is already attached into my virtual machine or the instance. Alarm status is given none. Attachment information there is an ID and the volume state is OK and encryption is disabled. So these are the options. So now I just go to my server but here I cannot see my second volume but I add why it is not showing here. So I have to get online. I have to do several step, uh, steps to take that hard disk online. So I just go to open the server manager from start menu or we can open the server manager with a command that is comp mgmt launcher comp mgmt launcher this is the command which is uh, responsible to open the <coughs> excuse me server manager So it's open, it will take some time to refresh. Here you can see file and storage service. Here you can see the disk option. In disk option you can see all the disk which is attached into this instance. Here you can see two instance. One is online which is my 30 GB which is my root volume. Another one is offline. So I select this volume to bring online. Click on bring online. Just yes. So my disk is online. I just want to create a new volume, the right click on new volume, next, select the disk, next, just OK. 1.97 GB will give me, I just select next, drive letter is D, NTF is formatted, create. It will take few seconds to formatting the hard disk or all these things. See. This is my GPT volume and it's online. So now I just go to the this PC once again. Yes, here you can see the volume. So in this volume, I just create a file named test file. Test file for RT smart training file and save done I just close it so I stored a file why I stored a file I will I will tell you later so this drive is added into my system
so now i just go to my console now i just want to detach this volume my means we don't need to uh, this volume right now so i want to remove this volume from that virtual machine but i want to keep that data so i have to select that drive just go to action here you can see the option that is a detach volume i just select detach volume volume name is this i just detach it will take some time to detach the volume is detaching from the vm it's just like uh, the pen drive when we remove the pen drive from our computer we have to select safely remove that will be better option to remove the storage so i just remove that hard disk from the vm so process is this so here you can see this hard disk is available right now so i can add this hard disk into the different vm or i can add this hard disk into the same vm so now i just go to that vm and see this volume is not showing over here and i go to over here i just refresh it after refreshing you can see this volume is showing showing an online see it's gone because we detach now i attach this volume once again just click on the virtual virtual hard disk just select the disk select attach here i have to select the instance id if i have a so many instance id so i have to uh select which instance id i have uh, to configured i just go to the instance you can see my instance id the end of instance id is this one sorry not this one oh ho this one this one my instance id that one my previous one i just copy the instance id when we have so many instances over there just go to volumes select the volumes and attach and then you have to type the instance id over there instance id is given this one xvdf device attach the attaching procedure is initiated and here option is available to change in use is take some time to attaching yes it's done now i go to the instance here i refresh once again see my hard disk is available here now i just have to bring online because by default it is showing in offline state see my drive is showing over here and my data is here you can see the data done till now everything is uh, okay if you don't understand any of the topic please comment me i just go to the next step so now i just create a volume from volume option now i just go to the volume elastic block storage under elastic block storage there is a volumes just create volume here i select a volume that is io1 
here you can size given giving your size I just select 10 GB not giving 10 GB I just provide okay 10 GB I have given it over here this option I will describe you later IOPS you know 500 is taken and other option is same my, my availability zone I have to set the same availability zone and create successfully created if you go here you can see my io1 volume is created but it is available i just change the drive let drive to i just change the tag actually drive to drive to is added using the same process i am adding this into my existing instance xvdg the device name attach change status is change here is showing in use it took it will take some time to attach we will wait few minutes not few minutes it will done uh, within 10 seconds I guess yes it's done so now I showing you another option where we can attach this hard disk we can go to the tools and we can select the computer management after opening the computer management we can go to the disk management you can see the disk is showing here we have another option this is a shortcut way go to run type a command disk ngmt.msc see the disk management is only open so over here I just go online at first we have to online then we have to get partition then initialize disk here you can set the MBR or the GPT master boot record you can select or the GPT whatever you want this is your choice in MBR you can only create the primary partition is for in GPT there is a so many partition we can create you know that uh, I just uh, select MBR or GPT whatever that is not matter for us in this scenario now I select a new simple volume uh, giving uh, 5000 next next and finish see the 5000 GB 5, uh, 5 GB almost the hard disk partition is created I can go here and see that partition I can see that partition over here and I create also this partition as well see partition is created if I go to my this PC so I can see these two volumes 5 GB and 4 GB is available over here now I show you how to add a storage existing storage how to add a storage I how to increase a storage size into an existing storage I just go this one 2 GB I want to change it to 10 GB I just select that drive modify volume I just change the modify is 10 GB and also I change the standard I change the standard it to IO1 this is uh, 3000 I just select it only 100 it will uh, taking 
it's done just select modify and yes done so i just refresh this page it will take some time because i change it to standard to io1 so that's why it takes some time see it's optimizing you can see my drive storage is also upgraded to 2gb to 10gb as well as it was converted to io1 from standard volume and it is in use so i just go here i just refresh you can see the unallocated space is showing here i just extend the volume next all the space it extended as well as i can see my data as well and now it is converted to standard volume to io1 volume now i am showing you the detaching the volume and how to remove the volume at first i select drive 2 just go to action to detach to remove the volume we have first we have to detach otherwise we cannot remove because you can see the delete option is not available at first i have to detach i just detach the volume the two volumes are detached sorry i have to detach only one volume refresh see both the volumes are detached i just unchecked i just attach drive 1 because i need this volume it attach so now i just want to detach this volume this is now available now i can detach just go to action you can see the delete volume yes see the volume is instantly deleted okay so now i just go to my vm you can see i have only two volumes and in these volumes i have a data i don't need any more this virtual machine so i just close now i just go to the instance page here i just shut down this virtual machine at first go to instance state stop the instances it will stop the instance instance is still stopping after instance stopped i have to select this option select this instance 
and then terminate just click over here terminate option is not available right now because it is not stopped yet yes you can see my instance is stopped now I just go to instance state and terminate the instance so remember in when I start the video I have added a additional in additional volume but I uncheck the option that is delete and termination delete on termination I just uncheck that option so now if I terminate this virtual machine the first volume which is the root volume that is terminated or delete side by side the instant deletion process but that another drive or another volume which I deselect the delete on termination option that volume remain, uh, remain same so just see I just terminate my terminate process initiate the root volume is automatically delete see terminated if I go to the volumes you can see the root volume is removed but this volume is add over here this volume was not delete because we uncheck that option delete on termination but here another option is given this is available means we can use this hard disk or the volume in my availability zone anywhere so this is the all about the volume labs EBS volume slabs uh, in my next video I will show you how to configure these steps in Linux the process 70% process is same but the other process are different so I will show you on my next video please stay online if my video is informative please like my video and subscribe my channel see you on my next video goodbye